Respectful. I just want to go to my city to see my mother. <laughs> Testing families. She's not happy. She's disgusted. <laughs> and testing a new high-visibility look. Half the boys on the ramp know me as Coco and half of them know me as my real name, which I'm not revealed dressed like this. <laughs> Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze on a far-flung holiday, Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Wanted, passenger service agent for EasyJet sales desk. Job requirements, nerves of steel. You have to one! A thick skin. Don't tell me it's a A cheerful disposition. Too sweet, then it will in the board in about two seconds. And the ability to deliver bad news. There's only two seats available for tonight. What? what? We only have two seats left to go into Madrid this evening. No, no, this no. is a no. f ring. Give me my money back. I want my f money back. Violetta Tenandez and her group have missed their flight. She was still queuing when her check in closed and needs to get home urgently to see her sick mother. Listen, my mother is having an operation in two hours. I can't believe you. I cannot even go to my country. No, please, no. You cannot do that. Don't go away. We're not going to transfer you. Please, what do you want to say? Why are you just like swearing at us? So I'm not going to transfer you. But please, swearing. This is horrible, man. This is such a horrible situation. I'm sorry. It's not our fault. The flight's fully booked, is it? So the fact you're swearing at us, we're not going to transfer you. You can just walk away. I don't mind what you want to do. I don't mind what you want to do. Because we're not going to transfer you. Please, I'm not swearing. I'm swearing. This is this is such a disrespect. If you guys start swearing at us, I'm not going to transfer you. Swearing why? Because I say. System, yes, is that swearing to you? I could swear to you much more straight, you know, and I'm not doing it. I'm just so asking. don't tell me I've been disrespectful because I have a mother operation with cancer in two hours. So don't tell me I'm disrespectful. I just want to go to my city to see my mother. We do not get paid enough to take that sort of abuse. You know, it's just, why should we? We're doing our job. It's not our fault to say that the flights are full or they've missed their flight. It does not take you more than two hours to get through these queues. The Any Desk check in system seems to be catching out quite a few people today. Suchitra Rampal and her right, family are en route to Alicante and they've also missed their flight. This is the last time I ever travelled by this. I'll tell you why, I don't know why, I load my standards. So all I can do is apologise. Yeah. <laughs> Suchitra manages to get a transfer, but the next flight isn't for another 12 hours. I feel very angry. I think I'm going to have a, an argument with my husband next, you know. Today, six members of the Spears family are travelling from Belfast to Glasgow for a very special occasion. We're going for a 70th birthday party family reunion thing. And we've got the birthday girl with us. We're going, all going out, the whole family. There'll be 20 of us, my daughters and son-in-laws and grandchildren. It's the first time everybody's been together for probably ever. Or at least it should be. you got a problem. Alison thought she booked the tickets months ago on the internet, but something's gone horribly wrong. I just presume that the flights were booked, but they're saying there's, there's, there's no record of our names on the flight. Did you get a wee reference number now? I, I think that's what the, where the problem is, there's no reference on And this isn't the first time that jinxed Alison has completely messed up an internet booking. Not booking any more flights. She's done it three times. And every time she's booked the flights, we haven't got on the plane. Mm -hmm. The family's only option is to dig deep and buy new seats. It's working out really, really dear. One thousand one hundred and thirty-nine eighty-eight. No, <laughs> we're not going to pay a thousand pounds to fly to Glasgow and back, so we ain't going to Glasgow. Not exactly the news mother-in-law Margaret will want to hear on her birthday. She's so happy. She's disgusted. <laughs> Violetta's got another problem. The next flight to Madrid isn't from Luton, it's from Gatwick, 71 miles away. And who's going to pay a transport from here to Gatwick? You'll have to try that yourself. What? 
It's not easy. Pero you, we just spent 20 them quick to come here. Easy Jet will not pay for your transfer to Gatwick. Can Easy Jet give me my money back? If you go on the internet, yes, they'll give you money. They, will, they may get your money back. I'm not going to guarantee it at all. Well, they say it's a cheap flight, but me, I pay 183 pounds just to go to Madrid. And then I have to pay 25 pounds to change my ticket. I have to pay my way back to London. I have to pay my back from London to Gatwick because my flight is going to be from Gatwick this evening. Because, because this is a joke. Come on. Is there not one on Sunday afternoon? The Spears family in Belfast are still desperately trying every which way to get to Glasgow for Margaret's 70th party. Have all your IDs there for me? Due to Alison's mistake, the only affordable way for the family to travel to Glasgow is to come back a day later, meaning the kids will miss a day of school. 629 a year. I hope. <laughs> Not many people would do this for their mother in law. It was her daughter that made the mistake with it. Not my fault. Paul's done it. The family's going. But was his mother-in-law really aware of how close her party was to being pooped? I know all right. That's why I was sitting down. <laughs> and she has to face facts. It's her beloved daughter, Alison, who nearly ruined it all. I didn't think she'd made a mistake, had you? What have you done? In different ways. <laughs> you want to know? I didn't think it was her fault, but maybe it is. <laughs> Paul remains surprisingly philosophical. Why get angry? When you make a mistake, you make a mistake. You didn't do it on purpose, so we'll worry about it when we get home. It's dawn in Berlin, and EasyJet pilot Ulrich Pudig is striving for global domination. Come in. Let's go. All right. Ready. It's not work that's got Ulrich up so early. It's the challenge of setting a world record. Well, we're going to go to Dover today, and we've just got to try to cross the channel on a kite surf. Kite surfing is a cross between paragliding and windsurfing, and surfers can reach speeds of up to 38 miles an hour. We are quite optimistic to, to break the record today. But that that's depends on the wind. The wind, that's nature. Mother Nature does what's whatever. Yeah. Just flown in from the UK is Ulrich's colleague, Captain Ziggy Solheim. Ulrich's only got one thing on his mind, wind. How's the weather over there? It's all right. It's all right. Nice. No wind. Ulrich and his buddy Uwe have been training for this day for months and don't want to take any chances, so they've even ordered a Europe-wide forecast from the captain. That's a new weather report. Beautiful conditions for flying. Excellent. Captain's weather. While Ulrich's heading for the channel, team leader Stephen Smith is planning something spectacular of his own. We're having a uh, fancy dress fundraising day in aid of a, uh, an orphanage out in Thailand. Most of the staff hopefully have agreed to put fancy dress on today and we're just trying to get passengers to put some money in buckets for us. I'm extremely nervous. I suddenly started thinking about people not turning up in fancy dress, me being the only one in fancy dress. I'm going to get dressed up today, but it's going to be a surprise, so you'll have to wait and see. I was meant to start off as a milky bar kid, you know, with the looks, but uh, it's turning in more to be a cowboy. I'm going to be a police woman today, so nobody, everybody better be good. <laughs> I'm going to go and get changed and look completely stupid, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm an uh, angel, so I am, and I'm sewn together and pinned together courtesy of my mum this morning. I just turned out to be a cowboy. And I'm all loaded with my smarties and all. Um, I've got a gun here, and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> I think it's great. It's great for the kids to keep them amused while we're waiting on checking in. 
Thank you very much. What do you think you're called, Biggie? Is that right? Big ears or biggles or Biggles. Whichever comes to mind, really. Something sharp or restricted in your hand back each time? <laughs> Sheriff. How can I help you there, ma'am? <laughs> Chantal Ensor has missed check-in for her flight from Luton to Geneva. I'm meeting my dad. Come on. Okay, let me try. Even though the flight's closed, manager Leo Jones is doing all he can to get her home. Can we take anyone else on the Geneva at all? It's not going to be possible now. Oh, right. Did that one, let me... Right, can you give me two minutes and I'm just going to double check with somebody else? Yeah. Hi Anna, it's Leo, you alright mate? Anna, can we take a lady on the Geneva at all? Just heard her mum's passed away. The passenger's really upset. So I want to do everything we can to get her on the aircraft. Have you got any bags? Yeah, it's in the car. Where's your car? I've just had to park it outside. Alright, let's get your bags. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go and get your bags. Oh, she's forgotten. She left her bags in the car. Anybody else here for Geneva? Anybody for Liverpool? The staff fancy dress fundraising day in Belfast is exceeding Stephen's expectations. We're doing very well. Where are you going to? Manchester. Manchester? Oh, I'm flying your plane to Manchester tonight. OK? Yeah. You trust me? Yeah. OK, well, I'll be up the plane shortly, OK? OK. And the clowning around seems to be spreading airside. Today is uh, a charity event for an orphanage. We just jumped at the chance, basically, to get out and get the gear on. Oh, yeah. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good well done. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. It's my normal day job. I'm a baggage handler. Now I go under the name Coco, regardless of whether I'm dressed like this or not, quite frankly. Half the boys on the ramp know me as Coco, and half of them know me as my real name, which I'm not revealed dressed like this. <laughs> From now on, Coco the Clown will be available for weddings, kids' parties, bar mitzvahs, and pushbacks. It was something I've been wanting to do, and I've now, something I've now accomplished. Not as me, but as Coco the Clown. The clock's ticking for Leo as he tries to get Chantelle on her flight home to Geneva. Have you, Sorry. Where are your bags? Just this bag. Just that one, and where's your yeah. car? My car is just stuck out outside. I can give you a, a registration number, if you like. All right, let's go and see if we can get you checked in on the flight first. My mum passed away on last night, and basically I'm trying to have to get back home. My dad is meeting me at the airport in Geneva, so, so we can go and say goodbye to my mum. Right, come on. I can get you checked in on the flight. We need to be quick. Wait right there. Where's your car? Where is it? Right. It's beyond that white van. Yeah. It's a blue Peugeot. Shall I leave the keys here at the desk? Yes, you can do. If it gets clamped, I'm not responsible, or yeah. if I bump it into anything by accident. Uh, no. <laughs> if it gets clamped, it gets clamped. I was looking at the traffic, I just couldn't believe it, I was starting shaking. And I thought, what do I do? Do I drive in the emergency lane? Because my dad is on his own now, I'm an only daughter. He must be panicking at home, basically. Okay, so, Pickle, we've got to run. Okay. All right, darling, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. you go to the gates and we'll leave the keys there for you. Thanks, you all right, no problem. I hope it goes Thank all right. Thank you so much. No Thank problem. You. See ya. Someone else is in a hurry down in Dover. EasyJet pilot Ulrich Puddig has been building up to his big moment since 6 a.m. this morning, and he's determined to set his kite surfing record today. I would say, yeah, very confident, very confident. And the wind is already picking up, so yeah, fingers crossed, and it's going to work. Ulrich certainly seems very pumped up. It's like uh, you're in love with someone. You know, you get the butterflies in your in your belly. 
you become one with the board, with the kite, and the elements, with the water and the wind, then nothing can stop you anymore. It's a good feeling. That's why we do it. <laughs> Having already helped a distressed passenger catch her flight, Leo's now doing something else for her that's outside his normal job description. I don't know if I'm regretting it now or not. I've offered to park her car for her. Got to find it first. Got the registration, but I'm not a very good driver either, which I'm a little bit worried about. I forgot that bit. Looking for a Peugeot. I think it's blue. I remember her saying it's blue. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Normally, any car left outside the terminal would be removed by security. Oh, this is it. It's little Peugeot. Right, it should be all right, shouldn't it? Let's make sure it's the right one. <laughs> Just trying to get into the thing first. Leo, it's behind you. Don't think her battery works. What's the registration on it? It's the only bloody Peugeot. I think this is far and beyond the call of duty. I have to say, never before have I done this. She was saying that her mum had just passed away. It was a choice of whether she goes to support her family this evening or, or she doesn't, you know? And sometimes you just have to make decisions based on what you think is the right thing to do. And I'm sure if I looked in some sort of handbook I got in my induction, it says, it says somewhere along the lines, don't do this type of thing, but it feels right. In life, there are some things you just can't rely on. Trains that run on time, snow on Christmas Day, and a pilot's weather report. Beautiful conditions for flying. Captain's weather. Suddenly, the coastline in Dover resembles a horror film. To Ulrich's devastation, There'll be no kite surfing record set in this fog. That's too dangerous. That tells you how unpredictable weather is. You see, you can't even see your hand in front of your face. It's really, really disappointing. Maybe the second or third time in my life that I experience a weather like this. Yeah. <laughs> really, it's uh, unbelievable. He's left feeling utterly deflated by the extraordinary British weather. It's like uh, someone throws a, a ball in your face <laughs> that's oh. it, or over. <laughs> I need one more, just a wee one. Okay, one, grab your bucket. <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> the staff fancy dress fundraising day is sadly drawing to a close in Belfast, but there's still time for Stephen to work his magic on a group of ladies. <laughs> I'm glad he's not driving the plane, but <laughs> who are you supposed to be? Bagels. Bagels are stupid. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> look, 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 quite Man's worth, huh? now, I don't drink, so you're having my drink in a moment. Look at that. Look at that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> the I know, that's fine. Do you want her boarding pass? Like, she was giving it away there a minute ago. Was, she left her behind. You make sure you have a good time in Bristol. We, yes, will. we, we will. will. Thank somewhere. you very, very much. Thank you very much. See me again. No wonder, <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. I just, uh, I couldn't have wished for better. All the staff have been great. They all put so much effort in the fancy dress and they've seen to enjoy it as well. The passengers seem to have had a laugh too and we seem to have raised so much money. Some lady there was just going to Bristol, threw a tenner in and just, it's been like that all day. It's been fantastic. The Spears family made the 70th party in Glasgow. Hope I'm here for the next one. <laughs> The staff at Belfast raised an impressive £2,400 for the orphanage in Thailand and Chantal caught her flight to Geneva to be with her dad.